Hi, my name is David. I'm a student here at University of Economics and Human Sciences, and I also work for the International Office. Our, our school is very, very diverse. We have students from over 60 different countries, and today I'm joined by Joseph. Joseph, do you mind telling the audience a few words about yourself? Thank you so much, David. Uh, my name is Wagawa Joseph Kaleb. I am from Africa, uh, in Rwanda. Uh, I am here as a student uh, of management. I would be spe specializing in corporate logistics. Uh, my university is uh, Uni uh, University of Economics and Human Sciences. Um, I have uh, experience in managerial uh, field and business. So that's why I joined uh, man management uh, in this university. Um, I am a big fan of writing and reading, so I'm, I'm also from a family of four. So I'm here for my studies, actually. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, no problem. That's very interesting. And why did you choose Poland for your studying destination? Thank you so much. Uh, actually, when you think about education, you think about Europe, you think about Poland, uh, most especially for the for different reasons. Uh, Poland gives you opportunities, different like it give it gives you a various opportunities uh, where you can choose what you want to study, where you cho can choose what you want to to pursue for your career. You know. Uh, also, uh, due to the high quality of education. Uh, that's why I choose Poland, and also uh, Poland also it gives you uh, opportunity of working. You can mm -hmm. study at the same time you can work. Uh, at the, whatever you are, you're either working full time, part time, depends on you, on and also depends on your schedule of the studies. So that's why. All right. Do you remember the day you got here to Poland? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, it was uh, uh, 2019, uh, in October. It was a very cold uh, weather. It was in, in winter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the weather. It's, it's very different from Africa. Did you adapt quickly? <laughs> yeah, it's totally different uh, when you see the weather, in, especially in my country, all neighboring countries like uh, uh, Tanzania, Burundi, Kenya. Uh, we have a very hot, I mean, high temperature. So it is totally different from here when it comes to a winter season. Uh, but of course, I've tried. I tried to cover myself, putting on, on scarf, mask, I mean, uh, gloves, uh, you know, something like that so that I can survive, of course. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. Yeah. How about your favorite memories? What are your favorite memories from Poland? Uh, my favorite memories uh, here in Poland, uh, you know, uh, by studying at a university like this, an international university, you make friends, first of all. You make connections, not just uh, friends like uh, friends. You make connections. Now, one of the memories that I have, I have a connection from people from India, people from Azerbaijan, people from Turkey, people from uh, the rest of African countries. Like, so those are good memories. And also in my working, working uh, place, uh, where I, I have connected with so many different people. So. I think when I will go back to my country, I will just be looking on those connections. And it is a good memory to me, and it is valuable, actually, of course. Thank you so much. No problem. Mm -hmm. And how about the language? How is your Polish? Polish language? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, trohe, trohe. Uh, yeah, but I know, actually, I know how to greet. I know how to say, uh, like, to greet someone, uh, like, a dobre pan, dzień dobre pan, I know how to uh, to, 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 to to say to someone, thank you, those are something very important where I can say, Jinkuye uh, Badzo, I can ask you, how are you? I can say goodbye, Dovidenia, I can say, uh, enjoy your meal or enjoy your food, like where I can say, Smashnego. Uh, so something like those, those words, yeah, yeah simple that, words, yeah. That, that's but I'm trying, of course. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Uh, do you think it's easy to study in Poland without knowing Polish? Yeah, it, 
as I, I, I mentioned before, it is a Poland education system it is an international uh, platform where you are connecting with different people. Of course, it is not easy, but it is also easy because we are studying in English. So people are speaking English, professors are speaking English, so we are taking our courses in English. Uh, most of the students who want to study Polish language, they, get, they, they have also that opportunity to, to study Polish also. Okay, mm -hmm. and some other difficulties you could say you encountered as an international student? Yeah, as any other international student, um, oh, so, so some difficulties also comes for when it comes to language. You know, this language is not easier to, to, to adapt to yeah, yourself. Of course, of course. Uh, when you go to look for diff some services, different services in a country, you need to also to speak that language and uh, that's one of the barrier you may face, but it is an uh, adaptive uh, barrier where you, you can adapt yourself. So I, I don't see it like, uh, as a difficult, but uh, um, it's some, it sounds funny, but when it comes to public transport, or yes, let's say public transport, you want to go to from point A to point B, you need to use the Google map, you need to use the um, Yakoyada, it is an application where yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you put a way address, then you may get lost because you don't know the, I mean, the place where you are, you are at, that, at that moment. Yeah, it's somehow challenging, but of course we adapt, we used to adapt. Yeah, so it's also full of opportunities, right, to learn. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. You know, when uh, like when you when you learn how to 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 I mean I mean to move around from from Poland, it will be easy for you to 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 know how you would move around from uh, um, France, uh, Italy, yeah, all, all over yeah, Europe. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. somehow the same. Yeah, mm -hmm. and speaking of recent difficulties, how did COVID affect your student life and your studies here in Poland? Thank you, David. Actually, as any other student uh, in, who is studying in this situation of COVID, COVID is, it is, it is now affecting the, uh, I mean, it is a global pandemic. It is a global issue where everyone is affected, not only students, yes. but also in any other field, business, hospi hospitalities, every, everything like is logistics is, be, have, have been affected with this pandemic. But for the students, uh, like for me, it affects me uh, when I wanted to, to, to go for internships, uh, looking for not only in Poland, but also in the uh, I mean neighboring countries like uh, Germany, uh, Belarus, where I can find, you know, when we came here, we are looking for different, like diversity, you know? so. Because we are in Doha, because we are in a, in, a, in a lockdown, we can't move around so that we can see those uh, various opportunities that uh, Poland has for us. So we are locked, of course, but we are studying online. We are taking our classes online. We are, yeah, it's, yeah, we are, the, yeah. The studies didn't mm -hmm. stop. No, all. it did, yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, we continue as usual, you know. Okay, yeah. that, that's yeah. great to hear. Yeah, it's great because different schools, they, they don't have uh, this opportunity of studying online. Uh, but here we can study online. That's, uh, that's one of the good things that uh, I can say about uh, education from here. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. I, I enjoy it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any more advice for candidates potentially who would like to study in Poland? Yes, uh, candidates who want to, to study in, in Poland, who want to come to University of Economics and Human Science, uh, first of all, you need to seek for uh, a valid information. You need to look for, uh, I mean, you, you need to be specific. You need to, uh, to ask, ask either school, ask either your colleague, ask either, you, either agents, different people who have access on information. First of all, you need, uh, I mean, information, the necessary information to, to I mean, with that will help you to pursue your studies. And another thing, um, do not waste time. You know, sometimes people postpone things. There is uh, this kind of uh, procrastination 
Yeah. Uh, people, they used to, uh, I mean, to postpone things. I will do this next year, I will do this next year. And you don't know what future holds. No one knows that you, the pandemic will take place like this long. But now, look at the situation, the way the world is. So you need to be sharp, you need to be, I mean, be focused to what you want to study. And also, of course, make a good choice, good university, good career, something like that. Thank you so much. All right, so Joseph also write a, uh, wrote a book. Uh, maybe you'd like to tell something about the book. Um, thank you so much, uh, Mr. David. Uh, actually, um, as, a, as a, some of my colleagues know, um, recently, like two years ago, in 2018, I got married. Uh, in March, then suddenly my wife got sick after six months of our reunion. Then um, suddenly she died. She passed away. But from that, uh, uh, oh. we before she be, when she was sick, we agreed that uh, we will write a book telling people, talking about our story, talking about our first days of marriage, like sharing experiences that we had. Of course, because we got married, then she immediately, like after two weeks, she got sick. So we had a hardship moment, we had a, a bad experience. So we wanted to, not only to keep by ourselves, but also sharing to the world how um, uh, couples, how um, new uh, married uh, people, how they, uh, they can treat each other, something like that. So after three months, she died, but in my heart, I had a, uh, that force, that forcing me to, uh, to fulfill the promise that I made with her. That's why I came up with this uh, book, 100 Days in Marriage. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'm very sorry for your lo loss. It's very nice you got this book. Uh, maybe you have a few words to share to those who recently lost someone and who are in grief currently? Uh, it is not easy because uh, you know when it comes to grief, when it comes to I mean to, to loss of someone, it can't be formula uh, uniform or it's not a formula that where we can apply A B C plus this one. But first of all, you need to have this sense of accepting yourself. Uh, I mean, accept what happened. Either, losing, uh, either you lost your family member, you lost your anything that you, you know. You need to accept yourself. You need to go through, uh, I mean, steps of healing. In this book, I wrote about uh, four steps of healing. Uh, you can, when you will get a chance of reading this book, it will also help you to, I mean, to pass through those uh, stages. But also, you need also to look for the future. Remember, you survive. I mean, you are here. You survived, so you need to, to. I mean, to live for you, but also for those one who, I mean, people you lost. So you need to believe in your in your in yourself, and also believe in for for the future. Future is ahead. Future is there. You need also to look for the future and plan for it. Of course, be positive. Think positive and react positive until your last day. Let's say like that. Yeah, those are very fortifying words. Thank you, Joseph, and thank you for your time today. Thank you, Mr. David, for inviting me, and thank you, University of Economics and Human Science, and thank you for the followers. God bless you.